It's mind-boggling to think that despite centuries of exploration and excavation, there are still countless archaeological discoveries just waiting to be uncovered. In today's video, we're diving deep into the world of archaeology to explore some of the most incredible finds that have amazed researchers and captivated our imaginations. From a lost city to Neanderthal art, here are the 20 most incredible archaeological discoveries. Number 20. The Lost City of Tanea. Hidden among the legends of ancient civilizations and mythical wonders lies the enigmatic Lost City of Tanea. Tucked away in the sun-kissed lands of Greece, this archaeological treasure has recently come to light, sparking excitement and curiosity among researchers and history buffs across the globe. Nestled in the northeastern region of the Peloponnese, Tanea emerges from the mists of time as a bustling city steeped in legend. According to ancient texts, the city was believed to have been founded by prisoners of the legendary Trojan War. As excavations in the 19th and 20th centuries unearthed the remains of this fabled city, the significance of Tanea became apparent. Its location as a vital trading hub and its cultural exchange with neighboring civilizations shaped the tapestry of ancient Greek society, one of the greatest civilizations in antiquity. Artifacts discovered within its ancient walls provide a glimpse into the daily lives of its inhabitants, showing the Greeks' artistic prowess and technological advancements. One of the most remarkable findings is the intricate mosaic floors that adorn the houses of Tanea. These stunning works of art depict scenes of daily life, mythical creatures, and gods, transporting us back to a bygone era. The rediscovery of Tanea not only offers us a window into the past, but also poses questions. What led to its downfall? How did its inhabitants navigate the tumultuous waves of history? Perhaps the answers are hidden in the artifacts left behind by the civilization. Number 19. The Tongue Skull In the vast landscape of human evolution, few discoveries have captivated the world quite like the Tongue Skull. This skull, unearthed in South Africa, holds the key to unraveling the mysteries of our ancestors. Deep in the heart of the Tongue region, renowned archaeologist Raymond Dart made an incredible find in 1924. He unearthed the fossilized skull of a young child belonging to a hominin species known as Australopithecus africanus. This remarkable discovery shook the scientific community and forever altered our understanding of human evolution. The Tong skull provides a unique glimpse into mankind's evolutionary journey. Its combination of ape-like and human-like features challenged prevailing notions of the time and supported the idea of human evolution in Africa. What sets the Tong skull apart is its pivotal role in establishing the hypothesis that early humans originated in Africa. This discovery opened doors to new archaeological methods and sparked debates among scientists, changing our understanding of how we came to be as humans. Yet, the Tong Skull's journey did not end with its excavation. Over the years, scientists continued to study this precious relic, employing advanced technologies to unlock even more of its secrets. Number 18. Tombs of Elite Wari Craftsmen in 2022, a group of tombs belonging to the esteemed artisans of the Wari culture was unearthed at the famed Castillo de Huarme site in the Ancash region of Peru. Known as the Castle on the River Huarme, this pyramid-like burial complex was initially believed to be a resting place for Wari royalty. This influential civilization thrived in the south-central Andes and coastal areas of present-day Peru between 500 and 1000 AD. One of the most significant tombs unearthed was believed to be that of an adult male who, based on the grave goods, was identified as a talented basket weaver. This individual, who passed away approximately 1,300 years ago at the age of 40, was laid to rest surrounded by layers of fabric, meticulously preserved alongside his tools of the trade. Axes, knives, saws, and a cane utilized for basket making. The burial site also revealed exquisite jewelry including a splendid gold headdress and a gold ear ornament adorned with a semi-precious stone. This magnificent discovery unveiled the first-ever tombs of these highly skilled Wari craftsmen and confirmed the pivotal role played by Huarme as an administrative and cultural center. Number 17. Sutton Hu Helmet In the vast realm of archaeological treasures, few artifacts are as captivating as the Sutton Hu Helmet. This extraordinary piece of history, discovered at the iconic Sutton Hoo burial site in Suffolk, England, takes us back to the early medieval era. Dating back to the 7th century, 
The Sutton Hu helmet is a true masterpiece of craftsmanship. This historic headpiece is adorned with intricate designs and motifs made of iron and adorned with gold and garnet. It was unearthed in 1939 with an ancient burial mound, revealing the burial of a high-ranking warrior or noble. This archaeological find sent shockwaves through the archaeological community and shed light on a previously unknown chapter of history, particularly the Anglo-Saxon period. The Sutton Hoo burial site itself is a treasure trove of wonders, with numerous burial mounds containing lavish grave goods and artifacts that showcase the wealth and prestige of the Anglo-Saxon elite. The Sutton Hoo helmet was crafted with remarkable skill and attention to detail. This single headpiece easily showcased the extraordinary talent of the early medieval metalworkers. The helmet's face mask, adorned with hauntingly intricate eyebrows, nose, and mustache, shows the labor put into crafting a single helmet. Imagine the craftsmanship required to mold such delicate features in iron. Back in the Anglo-Saxon period, this helmet not only protected warriors, but also signified the high status of its wearer, as it was the most expensive helmet crafted at the time. Number 16. Ancient Riverboat at Uruk During the spring of 2022, the Iraqi German mission of the State Board of Antiquities and the Orient Department of the German Archaeological Institute stumbled upon a magnificent find, an ancient boat created more than 4,000 years ago. The boat was discovered near Uruk, within an archaeological buffer zone teeming with remnants of ancient canals, fields, small settlements, and production sites. The site allowed archaeologists to glimpse into a hidden world that vividly illustrates the bustling life of an ancient city. The boat had already been partially exposed to erosion in recent years, making it a race against time to save it from further damage. With traffic buzzing nearby, the urgency to protect this extraordinary artifact was palpable. After relentless digging, the tireless efforts of the Iraqi German research team paid off as they carefully uncovered the fragile boat, revealing its unique features. This vessel, measuring about 23 feet in length and up to 4.5 feet in width, exhibited the excellence of ancient craftsmanship. Made primarily of organic materials such as reed, palm leaves, or wood, it's coated entirely in bitumen, a tar-like substance that serves as a waterproofing agent. This shows the ingenuity of the past civilization that lived near Uruk, and this boat is just one of the many traces they left behind. Number 15. The Tunnel of Cleopatra a team of experts unearthed an extraordinary tunnel beneath the ancient city of Tapasiris Magna on the Egyptian coast in 2022. The tunnel was described as a geometric miracle. It was located more than 42 feet below the temple, and it captivated researchers with its remarkable design. The passage stretched almost 4,300 feet through solid sandstone, making this architectural marvel resemble the renowned tunnel of Eupolinos on the Greek island of Samos. Its purpose, however, remains a captivating enigma. However, many believe that this tunnel leads to the elusive resting place of Cleopatra. While the tunnel's connection to the legendary queen remains uncertain, the discovery has sparked hope for potential breakthroughs. Tapasiris Magna, established by Ptolemy II in 280 BCE, was dedicated to the god Osiris and his queen, Isis, with whom Cleopatra shared a strong association. Notably, the dedication of the temple to Isis serves as a promising indication for archaeologists that the long-sought tomb of Cleopatra may be in close proximity. The excavation at the site has unveiled a sprawling religious complex comprising three sanctuaries, a sacred lake, and over 1,500 artifacts, including busts, statues, and coins featuring Cleopatra and Alexander the Great, alongside Greco-Roman burials. In fact, these remarkable discoveries were made in close proximity to the burials. Could Cleopatra and Mark Antony have been laid to rest in similar tombs within this remarkable complex? We continue to hope to bring an end to this millennia-long mystery. Number 14. Ancient Gladiator Arena in Turkey In 2021, archaeologists discovered an ancient amphitheater in Turkey dating back 1,800 years. This remarkable find is akin to the renowned Colosseum of Rome and provides invaluable insight into the sporting events and gladiator battles that once enthralled the ancient city of Mastora. While many amphitheaters in western Turkey have succumbed to the test of time, this newly unearthed structure has retained its impressive form throughout millennia. Built around 200 AD during the reign of the Severan dynasty, it welcomed crowds of up to 20,000 spectators. 
Although smaller in scale compared to the colossal Colosseum, this arena boasted features similar to its Roman counterpart, including chambers where gladiators would anxiously await their turn to enter the arena and private areas reserved for the enjoyment of distinguished guests. What lured people from far and wide to Mastoris Amphitheater? It was undoubtedly the electrifying spectacles that unfolded at its center. Residents and visitors from surrounding areas eagerly flocked to witness wild animal fights and the adrenaline-pumping clashes between gladiators. This ancient form of entertainment allowed brave warriors to display their skills and courage in combat. The amphitheater served as a hub of excitement, with spectators placing bets and cheering on their favorite competitors. This shows that societies were far more interconnected than we believed. Number 13. The Great Library of Alexandria the Great Library of Alexandria was no ordinary library. It was the pinnacle of intellectual achievement, a beacon of wisdom in the ancient world. Constructed in the 3rd century BCE, this magnificent institution housed countless scrolls and manuscripts from all corners of the known world. It was almost the definition of knowledge, a sanctuary where scholars gathered to exchange ideas and unlock the universe's secrets. However, the fate of this extraordinary library remains shrouded in mystery. The exact location and ultimate demise of the Great Library have perplexed historians and archaeologists for centuries. The library, believed to have been a grand complex consisting of multiple buildings, was said to be situated near the harbor of Alexandria. It was said that the Great Library met a tragic end after countless historical upheavals. Fires, invasions, and political turmoil left this once glorious institution in ruins scattering its vast collection of scrolls and knowledge into the annals of history. Modern archaeologists and scholars have made it their mission to unearth traces of this ancient marvel. Through painstaking excavations and meticulous research, researchers today aim to shed light on the legacy and influence of the Great Library on the development of human thought and civilizations. The search for the Great Library is no easy task, Centuries of urban development, natural disasters, and the passage of time have buried the physical remnants deep within the modern cityscape of Alexandria. Hidden tunnels, remnants of lecture halls, and even a potential reading room have been uncovered, fueling hopes of one day finding even the tiniest trace of this great library. Number 12. The Madaba Map It's the 6th century, and you find yourself in the heart of the Byzantine Empire. In the bustling city of Madaba, Artisans crafted a masterpiece, a mosaic map that depicts the Holy Land in astonishing detail. This artwork is no ordinary map you'll find in a dusty atlas. Instead, it covers the floor of St. George's Church, spanning an impressive 49 by 20 feet. Imagine walking on a piece of history as you approach this grand mosaic. But why is the Madaba map such a significant find? You see, this ancient masterpiece offers a glimpse into the world as it was over 1,400 years ago. It showcases more than 150 cities, towns, and biblical sites with intricate precision. Pilgrims from across the Byzantine Empire would flock to Madaba to marvel at this extraordinary work of art and use it as a guide to navigate the Holy Land. Number 11. The Serapium of Alexandria the Serapium of Alexandria was a temple dedicated to the Egyptian god Serapis, a fusion of the Greek god Zeus and the Egyptian god Osiris. This monumental structure stood tall and proud, its grandeur rivaling even the Great Library of Alexandria. Built around the 3rd century BCE, it was a beacon of knowledge, spirituality, and cultural exchange. This temple housed a vast library that rivaled the renowned Library of Alexandria, attracting scholars, philosophers, and seekers of wisdom from all corners of the ancient world. It was a hub of intellectual exchange, a melting pot of ideas where great minds gathered to ponder life's profound questions. Fast forward to the 4th century CE, a time of significant change and upheaval. The rise of Christianity led to the temple's downfall. The Serapium faced destruction its treasures looted, and its sacred halls left in ruins. The once majestic temple that had stood as a symbol of Alexandria's glory was lost to the annals of time. Excavations have revealed fragments of its former glory, sculptures, inscriptions, and remnants of the temple's magnificent architecture. Each discovery brings us closer to piecing together the puzzle of this ancient marvel. Number 10. Akrotiri in Greece Now Akrotiri might not be as known as Pompeii, but it's still among the most significant finds in Europe. 
often referred to as Santorini's very own Pompeii, this archaeological site shares similarities with its Italian counterpart, but it also has its own unique charm. For starters, Akrotiri predates Pompeii by a few millennia. While Pompeii was established in 600 BC and met its fiery end in 79 AD when Mount Vesuvius erupted, Akrotiri's story stretches back even further. This ancient Minoan settlement was thriving over 4,000 years before Pompeii was even a thought, and it's been remarkably preserved, frozen in time as it stood in 1500 BC. The Minoan people, who called Akrotiri home, adorned their city with exquisitely painted frescoes, crafted their own wine, and mastered the art of furniture making, pottery, and sculpture. It's truly mind-boggling to think that while the people in Britain were still dwelling in huts and erecting stone circles, Akrotiri flourished with such sophistication. Rumor has it that Akrotiri even inspired Plato's fabled city of Atlantis. But alas, between 1620 and 1530 BC, disaster struck when the mighty Thera volcano erupted, wreaking havoc on the island of Santorini. This volcanic eruption is one of the most colossal events ever recorded on Earth. It created a gigantic four-mile-wide caldera and spewed an ash cloud soaring 20 miles high. As if that weren't enough, a monstrous tsunami reaching a towering height of 100 meters battered the coast of Crete and made its way as far as Egypt. And when the disaster ended, Akrotiri was buried beneath a staggering 200-foot layer of ash and debris. Eventually, new settlements sprung up with the arrival of the Phoenicians, Dorians, Romans, and Byzantines. But the buried city of Akrotiri faded into obscurity until the 1860s. Number 9. Notre Dame Sarcophagi French scientists have made an extraordinary discovery beneath the cathedral's nave, unearthing not one, but two lead sarcophagi that are spilling their secrets. The first sarcophagus contains the remains of a high priest who passed away back in 1710. From what the experts can gather, this holy figure seemed to have lived a relatively sedentary life. But the real mystery lies with the second sarcophagus. We're not exactly sure who this person is, we might never know, but they were most likely a young wealthy noble who could have walked the halls of Notre Dame as far back as the 14th century. These tombs were discovered alongside a plethora of statues, sculptures, and fragments from the cathedral's original 13th century root screen, all buried beneath the transept crossing. This particular area was heavily damaged by the tragic fire that engulfed Notre Dame in April 2019. The second sarcophagus didn't disappoint either. Despite being exposed to air and water infiltration during the historic flooding of the Seine in 1910, it contained the remains of Antoine de la Porte, the canon of Notre Dame Cathedral. This prominent figure bid his final farewell on Christmas Eve 1710 at the ripe old age of 83. Archaeologists hope to find out more about these discoveries as future research progresses. Number 8. Burabudur Burabudur is a magnificent Buddhist temple that dates back to the 9th century. This structure is an enormous pyramid-like structure rising from the lush Indonesian landscape, adorned with intricate carvings and breathtaking statues. However, Burabudur is not just any ordinary temple. It holds an important place in history and is considered one of the most significant Buddhist monuments in the world. This incredible temple consists of nine stacked platforms representing the stages of enlightenment in Buddhist teachings. Each level is adorned with intricate bas-reliefs that depict stories from Buddhist scriptures and teachings. Seeing this sight, it's no wonder that many traveled to Indonesia just to get a glimpse of these breathtaking structures. Number 7. Homo Luzonensis Homo Luzonensis is a species of ancient humans that roamed the Earth around 67,000 years ago. That's like discovering a whole new branch on our family tree. These remarkable beings were first unearthed in the Kalo Cave in the Philippines. You see, before this groundbreaking find, we believed that our evolutionary story was a bit more straightforward. We had Homo sapiens, that's us, Neanderthals, and maybe a few other distant cousins thrown into the mix. But Homo luzonensis throws a delightful curveball into the course of evolution. It's like discovering you have a long-lost sibling you never knew about. These ancient hominins possessed unique characteristics that set them apart from many other human species we've encountered so far. Their teeth, bones, and even tools found alongside them tell a captivating tale of their existence. As more ancient humans get discovered, the evolution map will continue to change. Number 6. 
the Dead Sea Scrolls. It's 1947, and a young shepherd boy stumbles upon a hidden treasure trove in a remote desert cave near the Dead Sea. Little did he know that this chance encounter would unveil a treasure trove of ancient texts, with some dating back over 2,000 years. The Dead Sea Scrolls, as they came to be known later on, gave us an unprecedented glimpse into the lives and beliefs of the region's ancient inhabitants. The Dead Sea Scrolls are a collection of over 900 documents, including biblical texts, hymns, prayers, and historical writings. These remarkable texts were written in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek, providing valuable insight into the development of Judaism and the roots of early Christianity. But what makes the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls truly mind-blowing is the incredible state of preservation. Thanks to the dry climate of the Dead Sea region, these fragile scrolls managed to survive the test of time, waiting patiently for their moment in the spotlight. Unraveling their secrets has been no small feat, as scholars have had to piece together fragments and decipher ancient scripts with meticulous care. Number 5. Cave of Altamira Deep in the heart of Spain lies a hidden gem that has captivated archaeologists and art enthusiasts alike, the Cave of Altamira. This extraordinary archaeological site, located near the town of Santillana del Mar, offers a breathtaking glimpse into the artistic genius of our ancient ancestors. Known for its stunning prehistoric cave paintings, Altamira has been hailed as a significant discovery that revolutionized our understanding of early human creativity. Inside the cave of Altamira, you'll find a remarkable display of artistry adorning the walls. These incredible paintings, crafted using natural pigments, depict majestic bison, galloping horses, and other animals that once roamed the region. The level of detail and skill exhibited in these masterpieces is simply astounding. The significance of the Cave of Altamira cannot be overstated. When its discovery was first announced in 1879 by Marcellino Sanz de Sautuola, the world was in awe. The cave's pristine condition and the sophistication of its art shattered previous notions about the capabilities of our ancient ancestors. It challenged the prevailing belief that early humans were primitive and devoid of artistic expression. Altamira's paintings provided tangible evidence that our predecessors possessed a deep appreciation for beauty and possessed remarkable talent. Number 4. The Lost Leaders of Jamestown The discovery of the Lost Leaders of Jamestown has sent shockwaves through the world of archaeology, providing a captivating glimpse into the early days of America's history. Jamestown is the first permanent English settlement in the New World, and it holds immense significance. The discovery of its key figures adds a new layer of understanding to the struggles and triumphs of the pioneers who paved the way for the nation. From Captain Bartholomew Gosnold, whose vision led to the establishment of Jamestown, to Governor George Yeardley, a driving force behind the representative government, each grave sheds light on the personal stories that shaped the colony's destiny. These remarkable discoveries at Jamestown are important for archaeologists and history enthusiasts alike. By studying the artifacts and remains associated with the lost leaders, researchers gain insights into the challenges faced by the early settlers and the resilience they displayed in forging a new society on foreign shores. The findings extend beyond the burial sites, as excavations throughout Jamestown continue to unveil a wealth of information about daily life. From fortifications and dwellings to everyday objects like tools and pottery, each artifact contributes to our understanding of this historic settlement. Number 3. 1,000-Year-Old Andean Sacred Bundle Archaeologists exploring a cave in the Bolivian Andes made a mind-bending discovery that revealed how our ancestors used psychedelics. The researchers, led by UC Berkeley archaeologist Melanie Miller, stumbled upon traces of a hallucinogenic brew in a leather bundle dating back 1,000 years. Chemical analysis of the bundle revealed the presence of key active compounds, like diethyltryptamine and harmine, indicating that ancient South Americans may have been combining medicinal plants to create the powerful potion. The remarkable find sheds new light on the ritualistic use of psychoactive plants in ancient cultures. The well-preserved bundle, unearthed in the Lipez Altiplano region of Bolivia, belonged to the pre-Inca Tiwanaku civilization. Alongside the fox snout pouch, archaeologists discovered intricately carved snuffing tablets, a snuffing tube with human hair braids, llama bone spatulas, a woven textile strip, and dried plant material. These artifacts provide valuable insight into the rituals and practices surrounding psychotropic plant use in antiquity. Number 2. 
mosaic that shouldn't have been uncovered. This ancient mosaic is one of the most amazing archaeological discoveries found in the 21st century. However, some claim that perhaps archaeologists uncovered what no one was supposed to see. In the southern province of Gaziantep, Turkey, a team of archaeologists uncovered not one, not two, but three stunning mosaics from the ancient city of Zugma. This seven-year expedition led by archaeologist Kotalmas Gorke from Ankara University aims to unravel the secrets of this Greek city, which dates back to 300 BC. Zugma, once a bustling trade center of the Eastern Roman Empire, lay hidden beneath the waters of a dam on the Euphrates River for over a decade. The excavation project was launched in 2007 to save the city's treasures from oblivion. While approximately 80% of Zugma remained submerged, archaeologists are trying to uncover most of it. This ancient hub, whose name translates to bridge or crossing in ancient Greek, was founded by Seleucus I Nicator, a general of Alexander the Great. At its zenith, Zugma boasted a population of 80,000 inhabitants. However, its glory faded with the decline of the Roman Empire ultimately meeting its demise at the hands of Persian forces in AD 253. Now let's focus on the recent discoveries made by Gorke and his team within the Grand Musilar House. This colossal structure is believed to have housed one of the city's most prestigious families. Inside, the archaeologists stumbled upon three jaw-dropping mosaics that once adorned the walls of this elite residence. These intricate artworks were carefully chosen to reflect the interests and aspirations of the homeowners. These mosaics are so incredible that many feared discovering and unearthing them would lead to their destruction. Many believe this archaeological find was better left alone. Number 1. Painted Shell from Neanderthals Imagine stepping into a Spanish cave with secrets dating back over 64,000 years. What do you expect to find? The last thing on your mind might be Neanderthal art, but that's precisely what archaeologists stumbled upon in a cave in Spain. They found intricate depictions of animals, mesmerizing dots, and geometric patterns, and even hand stencils and engravings. These captivating artworks prove that our prehistoric relatives possessed creativity and the ability to think symbolically. Just like us modern humans, this groundbreaking discovery challenges the outdated view of Neanderthals as mere brutes lacking culture and sophistication. In fact, the age of these artistic masterpieces surpasses that of modern humans in the region, solidifying their Neanderthal origin. Previous claims of Neanderthal artwork, such as the intriguing geometric scratches found in a Spanish cave, were uncertain due to imprecise dating techniques. Experts examined calcium carbonate crusts that had formed over the cave paintings, allowing them to determine the age without causing any harm to the precious artwork. But here's where it gets even more mind-boggling. These cave paintings weren't just a one-time occurrence. They were found in numerous caves spanning 700 miles and created over a staggering 25,000-year period. This suggests that artistic expression was deeply ingrained in Neanderthal culture and passed down through generations. Which of these archaeological discoveries impressed you the most? And do you know any other cool archaeological discoveries you'd like to share? Start a discussion in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.